Hello there. What do we have in this picture? We have a beautiful summary diagram of what this module is about. What's this module about? Something called protein synthesis. What is protein synthesis? It is a process that begins with DNA, begins with a DNA gene, and can finishes with the production of protein. Starts with the DNA gene, finishes up with protein. And we can see a lot about uh, protein synthesis in this diagram. Uh, we can see that, for example, it's two steps. We can see where those steps take place, and we can see basically what takes place in those steps. Let's take it from the top. The first step is called transcription. It's this process taking place right here. Where does it occur? Inside the what? Inside the nucleus. And so, uh, transcription, transcription. That's not a word we use all the time. It's, now well, maybe we use transcribe. But when something's being transcribed, what is being done to it? It's being what? Copied. And so that's why someone named this part, this stage, transcription, because something's being copied. What is, in fact, being copied? One DNA gene. The whole DNA molecule? No. One DNA gene is being copied. And what form does the copy take? It takes the form of this molecule right here, messenger RNA. So we can say that a messenger RNA molecule is a copy, so to speak, of one DNA gene. It contains the information from one DNA gene. That is transcription. One DNA gene is copied. How much is copied? One DNA gene is copied. That copy takes the form of what? One messenger RNA molecule. Well, the messenger RNA molecule goes out through a porthole here, out of the nucleus into the what? The cytosol or the cytoplasm. The cytosol technically is what? The liquidy part of the cytoplasm where it gets grabbed by a ribosome. And so uh, uh, that's a, an organelle uh, that we haven't talked about before now, but uh, the ribosome, ribosomes are the manufacturing site of the protein. What does that ribosome do? It hops on the messenger RNA molecule and rides down it like a little train car down a track. Chugga, 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 it goes the ribosome. What is the ribosome doing? It's reading the message. It is reading the message. And what is it doing with that message? It is using it, that information, to make protein. Now the name of this step is called translation. Why does somebody name this translation? Well, because it uh, starts off with the messenger RNA, which is kind of like one language, and language of nucleotides, and finishes with protein, which is a totally different language, than the language of amino acids. And so, um, <clears throat> messenger RNA to protein, that's a big change. Two totally different languages, so to speak. So someone named it translation. So, uh, how come there need to be two steps? And by the way, there's some other actors involved. Uh, something called tRNA, transfer RNA. Uh, we'll talk about that more. But let's talk very briefly why there needs to be two steps. Why do there have to be two steps? Well, does the DNA ever come outside the nucleus? during all this? No. Do the ribosomes go inside the nucleus? No. And so the DNA, where, which has the code, um, stays in the nucleus. The ribosome, which is the manufacturing site, stays outside the nucleus. So there needs to be a go-between. What's the go-between? Messenger RNA. Messenger RNA, in essence, takes a message from the DNA, from one DNA gene, out to the ribosome, that message is read by the ribosome, so to speak, and that information is used to make protein. There, in a nutshell, you have protein synthesis. Transcription, first stage occurring where? Inside the nucleus. Translation, the second stage occurring where? In the cytosol. I think that is it. All right, I'll come back to this drawing as often as necessary to get the gist, the overall gist uh, of, of how protein synthesis works. Okay, that's it.